Good day, everyone, and let's discuss the Ultimate Girls Trip South Africa. I think this episode is the most peaceful episode so far. I won't lie. So, you, which episode do you think has been as peaceful as this? For me, I think this episode is so peaceful. The ladies are really getting along, and it's interesting. I don't think every time we need to see these ladies going after one another's head. Like, no, I think I really love this episode because yeah, it is peaceful. They need peace, and it's not just peaceful. They are really getting to know one another. But in as much as they are getting to know one another, there are still somewhat drama and brewing beef between these ladies. And let us just have that conversation. Welcome back to this space. I am Loba. <laughs> I'll just discuss things I really see very important from this episode and the very first I'll be discussing is Liz taking out these ladies on this on this was it dinner or call it where they had to draw this very nice looking bodybuilding man which they decided to draw or paint yeah I think they painted so the thing is I really love the fact that this gathering was somehow a very fun one for them so far, we've not seen these ladies gather and not have like differences. They are always having issues, but this time around, praise be to God, they are really getting along and and they just have to feel like the same idea. They are just really getting along. So let's discuss what this lady painted. I think for me, I feel like Mel's painting seems to be like the best, in as much as those paintings are not good at all. <laughs> you understand? But I think Mel's painting is like better you get i don't know why the guy that's the model decides to go for lacy's painting or oh, is this is it telling us something that okay i think this is <laughs> yeah so that's the, that's it that's it i think mel's painting was the best but we understand that he decides to pick lacy to have given um so i actually had the best painting the best painting oh my god yeah so away from this let us discuss this viewing drama between letabo and crystal for me, I love the fact that like, um, Crystal and Babe are now like, they are now good together or they are now in good terms. I think that's a better word. They are now in good terms. But Letabo and Crystal, do you really think Letabo does deserve to apologize to Crystal? Do you really think Crystal is not being overly dramatic this time around? I would like to hear your comments. I would like to see your comments on the comments box. Please, if you enjoy content like this, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. So, what do you guys think? Do you think Letabo should apologize to Crystal or was she, well, like, was she doing too much? So, for me, I think, I think Letabo having, like, having decided to, like, not really let Crystal tell her story the way she wants to tell it. I understand that Crystal will want to tell what suits her best like she wants to tell the story at a very way like in a way that she feel like it is good you understand and for someone like Letabo who witnessed it who experienced what really transpired would not be really fine seeing that okay the story is not as consistent as it's not as consistent as how it sees truly you understand so I feel like okay Letabo seemed mad and she needs to really tell aside or what she really saw or what she really experienced but i think the thing is it is crystal's story let her tell her story we are not involved in any way letabo is not involved in any way so probably she should have let crystal tell her story then when you now see letabo um crystal is not telling the best story then probably she and she came off very aggressive she came off very aggressive yeah you could also have literally countered her points or her view and like okay this is how it is this is what i witnessed you understand but not coming as aggressive as that it was very wrong or uh, probably even if she had not come on very if she had not come off to be very aggressive she could have also called crystal and be like okay away from every other ladies have a meet with crystal and be like oh crystal i witnessed this and what you narrated was not the situation i think that would have really just helped so that really helped everything and it would, have, it would have been better yeah so i think probably i haven't understood that okay this is what it is i think the table does deserve to really meet up with crystal and apologize yeah so let us discuss the next thing is the ladies having to gather for this picnic by the pool 
I really love that situation, you understand, because at this point, they really got to know themselves, really get to share that pain, and really get to understand their individual struggles. You know one thing, when they decide to play the game, and was this reference to the real assets of Durban, where such game was played, I felt it would be as messy as what the real assets of Durban version were. But I was so surprised that, okay, there is somehow very maturity. And for Lacey, you know, the question they asked Lacey about having few private, and I feel like probably they will come for Lacey because of that notion of Anna being open enough, which they already had. I think that had conversation happened between like Tabo, Nonko, and Liz. I really love the fact that Nonko did dismiss the viewpoint, you understand, immediately, and she made it clear that, okay, I'm getting to know La Conco. For me, I think it is two different things two different things for people to decide not to open up and when they are not engaging and from what i have seen so far on this show i don't think i have issue with lakonko not really telling them some certain personal story or personal issues or personal things about herself it's herself she needs to protect herself she needs to protect she needs to tell what she feel is good enough to tell i don't think it's you i think for me for me how i feel is you end people people's trust for them to tell you things about their life for them to tell you things you don't just expect because you're in the same space with them because they think they deserve to tell you all if lakonko was that person who is not really engaging with the ladies on the show i would have been like okay that should be an issue how will you be on the show like this and you're not engaging with them but so far lakonko does engage with the ladies on the show so i don't think that is an issue for lakonko she's engaging she really Get along with the ladies we're not coming to tell you poor a personal it's giving a personal story or things personal about her i think it's giving people nosy ladies to an extent and i love the fact that not really dismiss that i feel like when they had to play that game probably they'll really come for lakonko and i love the way she did address the question she was asked and it's interesting that that game really makes them really understand their individual pains and their struggle like the way Bev did told her story you understand and i think not just babe also pete and um male drama i think i'm really loving this male on the show male seems to be one of the ladies one of i never said she is one of the ladies that is really carrying this show so well you know then i think i have issue with Noko how she has been on and on about the fact that she feels like male glorifies her husband male male has literally made her husband a god and Mel had made it clear that it's a mutual something. She's also a goddess to this man, like with just the way she had made this man a god. And Noko is here quoting Bible, using Bible verses to literally support her point. I feel like Noko should just leave this woman alone. Noko should do. So I think this is all I'll be discussing for this episode of the Ultimate Girls Trip South Africa. Which of the ladies do you think is really carrying the show or like you find very interesting so far? For me, I think it's not cool, Liz and Mel. Lakoko too is really doing great. I really love Lakoko. Crystal, I think I've mentioned all the ladies. <laughs> okay, bye. Yeah. See you guys next week. Bye.